China's cyberpunk futuristic cities. China has known to have this sort of cyberpunk futuristic vibe to it. So although we have uh, only been to a few small places in China, we're going to get to see tons of them here. If you want to find out which one of those small places we went to in China, you can check out our travel vlog channel. Link in the pinned comment below. They might be some of the biggest places in China. But I know, like, Chongqing is considered, like, the cyberpunk city. So I got to imagine that's going to be in here. Did we go there? I don't know. You're going to find it out. You're going to find out. <laughs> uh, let's check this out. This should be interesting. It's always cool to see, like, this crazy architecture in China. I mean, it's, like, insane. We got to experience some of it in person, and it's mm -hmm. just flabbergasting some would say goosebumps Keanu Reeves lives in China because he's in cyberpunk yeah the game yeah so that's pretty epic China's cyberpunk like futuristic cities are already here is this the same guy's last time I think so because <laughs> he kind of whispers when he comes. <laughs> that looks cyberpunk to me right yeah. there all those buses traffic is cyberpunk what is, is that like, is that actually traffic or is that just park? They have, the ones on the front have brake lights on, but the ones in the back don't. Mega cities that are set to shake up the future. What the heck is that? Architectural melting pot of Western and Eastern designs that appear both familiar and outworldly all at once. Outworldly? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, that's kind of cool. They lit up like they're... Oh. oh, is that the Xi'an? Yeah, is that? We saw a vlogger go there and it kind of looked like that. Yeah, that's way bigger than I expected it. Yeah, it is. That was pretty cool. The Forbidden Immersed Palace or whatever. This futuristic megalopolis. This is not fiction. Wow, These circle. Are real cities. It's inside. actually called The Donut. The Donut. Uh, and the engineers in here want to let me know how much office space and uh efficiency was wasted by cutting a hole in the middle <laughs> well there's a new park in the middle actually oh true <laughs> but the architecture is all that matters yeah it's pretty it's pretty cool looking oh. and they have lights of course that highway back there is insane oh it's so busy Why isn't there somebody shooting down the drone with a laser gun? <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> That's something we experienced in uh, a city unnamed. Uh, police trying to shoot down a drone with like some anti-drone laser gun. That was pretty. That was pretty cool to see. It looked like something out of Halo. <laughs> A tram. The lights on the buildings are so cool. Even just like a more basic class building will have just the lights out the wazoo. It's so crazy. I recognize some the of those buildings. Concrete monster cities of China demand the world's attention with dramatic skylines, futuristic designs, and flashing billboards. Your drone's crashing, sir. Jeez, that traffic on that road is oofers. Yeah. Wow, look at that. That's cool.
Tron King, I believe. A tube. Very tubular, dude. Now they got a nice advertisement right off of that one. Wow, that's very cyberpunk. buildings unlike sci-fi dystopian cities of the future these cities are in harmony with its society without the breakdown of values individualist ideology poverty crime conflict and destruction did he just claim there's no poverty that was a very interesting like statement he made like that that whole statement was very interesting to me he just totally did this this blanket statement he basically said it's not dystopia it's utopia yeah obviously that's not true and we're not gonna propagate that that is true to you right now there there's some there's obviously some issues there's some positives there's some negatives just like every place in the world but it's very that was like the most bizarre statement ever to just slap in this video about showing skyscrapers guys it's perfect <laughs> but you know what is perfect a party aircraft <gasps> carrier please can we go look at that thing on the right we're not trying to hate on China. It's just that's just an absolutely bizarre statement to make. I mean, every country obviously has poverty and problems, and he just basically tried to claim that there is none in these cities. Interesting. Let's go on that right now. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Very interesting. Oh, did we ever go up there? A lot of ramps. What a weird city. That's I, I've never seen something like that before. Yeah, that's so crazy. And there's it's so big too. How have we not heard of that or seen that ever in our entire lives it's, in person? If it's so big. Yeah, it's like Guangzhou or something. I feel like, and I, I don't uh, even. I've never heard of that city. Is that the city? The Canton city it used to be called Canton. Oh yeah, I, do you know where that is? I no, I don't. Probably in like Nepal or something. Yeah, it's weird that they throw Nepal in this video. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're just gonna say it right now. We went to Guangzhou. You can check the link in our description. We, there's too many stupid people that watch <laughs> these videos that don't understand like our blatant sarcasm in the last video. We were like, wait, Guangzhou? Never heard of it. That's because we went there and we said that. Yeah. Very cool city. Very, Very cool, cool skyline. One of the tallest buildings in the world on the right there. And the Canton Tower is one of the, th the tallest towers in the world. Which I did not know that was a different classification. I, I didn't either. It's just because you were thinking of classifications through your Western standards, bro. Oh, I'm limiting. <laughs> <laughs> comments. We're making fun of comments. Is the fountain on? I didn't get the fountain see. wasn't on when we were there. Too dang cold. Ah, yes. That, like amphitheater thing that thing's so interesting look at those screens wow what a view i love how it's framed so well That is the benefit of China having developed like so recently, like in the past few decades, like coming into like such like fast economic growth is they could plan like this area of the city is obviously kind of outside of like the main Guangzhou downtown and being able to like plan everything perfectly with all this money, all this mm -hmm. influx of money were coming in. They could make the skyline look 
perfect. Yeah, I mean, like, I remember reading about how the Pearl River, River Delta area was basically just a, a fishing village until, like, the late 80s or whatever. So the planning can go very well. It's crazy. It's like Dubai. Dubai, mm -hmm. they could, it's just empty desert, so they can just plan it however they want to make it look sick. And in places like Europe, uh, they can't really do that because those cities have been there forever. They'd have to go like way out in the middle of nowhere to just start rebuilding. And obviously they don't have this type of influx coming in like China does. Why is everything so dang pink? The Valentine's Day. It's Chinese Valentine's Day. It's like Chinese New Year, but they have their own Valentine's Day. Oh. I found that online somewhere. I can't wait for the comments <laughs> of this video. <laughs> it doesn't say which cities it shows, so let us know some of the cities these are. I recognize a few, but... That's pretty cool right there. Yeah, nice, like, unique pedestrian overpass on top. What looks does like that a, look like? It looks like a sonic hedgehog ding, ring. Ding. Not actually, not isn't too there, much. Isn't there some sort of, like, weird fountain thing where the water goes into a hole in the middle of a, like, Isn't a, that the Singapore one? The fountain of wealth like or whatever? From above? Oh, there is one from above, too. I don't remember which one that is. I don't know. That just makes me... It reminds me of something. It's just so many buildings in so many cities. I wonder what time of night this is. Yeah, it's gotta be before 12. Well, I mean, the traffic's really popping, so it's probably around eight, nine. Oh wow, they got some traditional art on the buildings. It's an advertisement for the art museum. Oh, wow. Oh. Wow. It's a huge park? Yeah. That's so cool when they have, like, the, the old walls around the city. That's so cool. Oh, wow. This one's really cyberpunk. They've defied gravity in China. What the heck? They really got the future of technology oh. there. Oh. this Paris or China? That's very cyberpunk. Paris? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a crazy building. Before watching a video like this, you don't realize how diverse glass structures can look. But they got a lot of different designs for glass structures. Well, we're not necessarily like people that get all like, ooh, excited about buildings. I always like mountains more than buildings, but they make them look pretty cool. Yeah, we're like, oh, oh, oh. look at that one. Wow, this one's so tall. It's just still going. The video might end before I reach the top. Did that just jump cut? What the frack? China, the Dragon Awakens Mega Cities. China never sleeps. Rise of the Mega Cities. That seems to be false because when we were in Guangzhou, it definitely went to sleep. Yeah, everything closed like 10 o'clock, you're done. Like, I mean, there were still, like, you could deliver food from, like, restaurants and stuff, but, like, most of the streets got pretty dark. Like, in some of our upcoming videos, you'll see us walking the streets. It was safe enough that we could walk the street at very, night. Very, very safe. But there was nobody there anymore. But that is probably because it lined up with New Year, but it was also, when we were in Hong Kong, it was a similar thing. So I don't know if that's just kind of like a Chinese culture thing mm -hmm. for everything to kind of close down a little early and everybody wakes, or, yeah, and everybody wakes up early, too. So I don't know. Yeah, because there was definitely busier in the morning, too, than other places, I would think. I don't know exactly. 
We didn't wake up that early all the time. No, because we're usually up later than... We're usually up to like 2 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Just when you're in China, dude, and just never sleep. China never sleeps. <sighs> That's an interesting video. These... I I was, I was thinking about the cyberpunk thing and why they people call it cyberpunk because kind of the point of cyberpunk i'm assuming blade runner is what you think of yes. with cyberpunk and that is dystopian yes so it's supposed to be like these insane futuristic buildings for all the rich people and then all the poor people live in like these slums underneath the buildings in the streets so it's interesting that they use that like classification when they're describing yeah. these. It seems like they just want to take the rich part, yeah. basically, and be like, "Oh, look at that side of it." And I mean, it's not like there was like the slums below or anything in these, but yeah, it is an interesting comparison for cyberpunk. The guy tried to like uh, say, "But guys, it's cyberpunk, but it's not the bad cyberpunk, guys." Yeah. And yeah, but then he's his statement for that is was just wild, wild. <laughs> Uh, interesting, obviously, uh, some people aren't going to be happy that we mentioned anything against that, but it seems people, at least that comment are one complete one side or complete the other side. They're either going to hate that we showed a video of buildings and say that China sucks, or they're going to love the video of buildings and say that China is the best. There's very little nuance. Can't you just say that China is very futuristic and clearly very well off, but also that there's definitely still poverty? Because nope. that's definitely the truth. Not one or the other. You can't say both. USA. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we like to have fun and make fun of people that are way too serious about things like buildings. So 70, uh, no, 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 like 50% of the things we said in this, we said in the, our same voice, but we meant the opposite of what we were saying. <laughs> that's sarcasm. Yeah. So some people aren't going to understand it. They're not going to listen to this. So hopefully if you that are listening understand and know China is really cool, and we really like China when we were there. Go check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.